Be back, guys. I'm probably not 100%, although I feel okay. It's just my lung capacity, all the stuff you hear from COVID. We'll talk about all that. the slow path back to health. Because being outside is good. Another minute, guys, we'll start. Hey, Harry. Hey, everybody. Wish I could say hi to everybody, but can't, so I was gonna give a blanket statement. <laughs> hi, guys. Glad to you guys. Glad to see you guys. It's been a long road to recovery, man. Oh. I'll talk all about that. It was fucking, I went through pretty much hell for the first few days. I'll talk all about that. <clears throat> we'll keep this one light and sweet. And then we'll talk about the markets in a little bit. Because the market's been crazy, man. The markets, if you, if you do not have good risk management, you're getting blown away. Both from the long side and the short side. All right, guys, so we'll start, I guess. I well, hope you guys did well today. Today was pretty much straightforward, guys. Um, I had some technical difficulties. I couldn't really trade much today, uh, which is good. I wanted to prepare for this. I had errands I got to run anyway, so let's start, guys. Well, it's good to be back, guys. As you see, I am walking the pond once again. I've been away for three weeks. For those that do not know, first of all, making make, make sure my mic check is okay, guys. You guys can hear me clearly, right, guys? Because this is going to be an important one. Not many people talk about this. Alex actually got it way back in February or so. People thought it was fake back then. People still think it's fake today. But I'm going to talk about COVID. Before we start, guys, I um, want to give shout out to Cobra Trading. Those, those awesome brokers, they've been with us since the launch of My Investing Club. So I want to give them a shout out. Guys, we have a special promotion with them. They're actually our partners. This is where Alex and I trade. Where, this is where all the guys at MIC trade. There's a huge discount, guys. Cobra Trading. Call them up. Uh, there's information all over the web. Uh, mention that you, know, you, we, that you heard it from MIC and get along with our great Discount pricing, those guys are awesome. They're the only ones I know that give free locates, guys. So every day you wake up, you know, you can hit them up and they have a pool of locates that many other brokers actually sell and they give it to you for free, guys. So a lot of the hard to name borrows as well, we get them. Lately they have been, locates have been hard everywhere. So it's not really their fault, but when they get them for free, they don't mark them up, guys. They give them out to us. <clears throat> so Cobra, and for guys under PDT, it's Venom it's by by Cobra as well. So Cobra Trading, guys. The guys in the room can. Uh, yeah. Oh man, you notice I my my breath is kind of running out, huh? Just from walking. And that's what COVID does. But uh, Cobra Trading, guys. Any more information? Ask these guys right here. You know, I love doing these IG lives because you get to see the people. This is unfiltered. If we if we do anything bad, if you know, you will hear it right here. And that's why we're the only ones that that do this. Alex and I do it every single week. Yesterday, every Monday Alex does it, every Tuesday I do it. So we are not afraid to be public facing because we know that we are the premier place to learn to day trade and then uh, you know what? Trolls can come they want. I welcome them. We have turned many trolls into believers. We do not pump. But what we do is we actually give out guidelines. We have watch lists. And man, you should just... The watch list itself pays for it, guys. I mean, I, I, I wanted to say like, dude, if you join MIC, why don't you do this, man? If you join MIC, text Tosh. If you join MIC and our watch list, if you take a look at the watch list and it does not pay for the membership... I'll give you back your first month, okay? This is how, this is how amazing 
our strategies work. If you just follow the watch list and just, just learn from that watch list alone, guys, you will make back your membership. There's no doubt about it. I didn't even tell Alex this, but shit, man. If, if you w watched our watch list and you do not fi find that the watch list makes you money, I mean, shit, man, just come back to me and say, Bow, your watch list sucks. I'll give you back your your freaking first month, man. Come join the MIC. Okay? Um, Alex doesn't know I said this. I just kind of thought about it because I'm like thinking, man, this is so crazy. We have a watch list that pays for the membership itself. And I don't understand why people like, do, do not even want to join and to see the watch list. You can reverse engineer it, learn our strategies, learn the lines. Our lines, people used to laugh at. Our strategies, people used to laugh at. Death line, people used to laugh at. Nowadays, I see everybody using the lines. They're talking about the lines. I don't see no moving averages anymore. I don't see Fibonacci bullshit. I don't see any of these weird ass indicators, guys. It's just, you know, keep it simple, stupid. That's what we do. We teach you to, to freaking simplify your trading. And you know, and we post our scanners. So you do not need to pay 200 bucks a month for a scanner, guys. Join MIC. I mean, dude, I don't, I don't know what else to say. So um, I, I, I actually didn't tell Alex this. I just kind of woke up. I thought about it. I was like, dude, we have such a wonderful resource in terms of the watch list. And I was like, people need to start looking at that more. That in itself, if I had that when I was starting out trading, guys, I would be fucking making money all the time. I would not be trying to figure out on my own all this shit. You know, cut to the chase, guys. Okay, enough with that. Hit up Tosh, guys. That's what I'll do to you for you today. Guys, just join it and check out the watch list. It pays for itself, man. It pays for itself. I mean, 200 bucks a month. I mean, that's basically one trade off of that watch list, right? But anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys. Before we start, this is this is more of me trying to educate you on COVID, okay? Um, I hope this is not meant to be a political discussion, guys. This is not political. I am not talking about whether or not we should close the economy, reopen the economy. That is not my intention. My intention is to share with you my experiences of having COVID, okay? And then we'll translate that to the markets. But COVID is fucking real, guys. It's not a hoax. You know, it's real. People get it. People die. People go to the hospital. People get sick. Look at me now. I can't even walk around without a shortness of breath. <coughs> but I'm glad I'm recovered. So I'll tell you how it works, man. So how did I get COVID? I got COVID from hanging out with someone who had COVID but did not know they had COVID. Usually that's what happens. There's a four day incubation period actually that you have COVID, you test positive, but you didn't even know about it because there's no symptoms. So I, I, I got it from someone on Tuesday. Tuesday, okay? That's when I met someone on Tuesday that had it, I didn't know. And then on Friday, I actually went to get tested because they're like, oh shit, I'm positive. I was like, fuck. So I went and I got tested on Friday. Okay, so think about this. On Tuesday, I met up with them. On Friday, I got tested and I got tested negative on Friday. So I'm like, oh, cool, I don't have it. I have no symptoms. And then on Sunday, what happens is this. Sunday, I started coughing. Just a slight cough, nothing, nothing really bad, guys. On Sunday, then I tested on Sunday and I got the results back on Monday that I got a positive. So Tuesday, I met up with someone that had COVID. Friday, tested negative. Sunday, tested positive. You see how crazy it is? So that was a four to five day incubation period, guys, where I'm walking around potentially giving it to people and not even knowing about it. That's that's the danger of, of this disease. Well, it's a virus or whatever you want to call it. And so this is how it gets transferred. And this is why it's so, in my opinion, it's deadly. It's deadly in the sense of you have it, you can pass it around to your parents, to your grandma, to whoever, and not even know about it. It's not even your fault because you have no clue that you had it, you know? All it takes is one time that you basically share a drink or a meal or just sit next to someone and then happen to get COVID. I mean, it happens. Eventually, I think everyone's going to be exposed. Uh, some, 
Some are, you know, mild cases, some are not. But but look at me, man. I'm a, I consider myself a pretty strong guy. I haven't been sick in over a decade. And then, so the first day, so basically this is how, how it feels to have COVID, guys. <coughs> so Sunday, I started coughing, just like that. <coughs> just a little cough like that. And then I'm like, dude, oh, fuck, okay. No big deal. And then Monday, boom, it hit me like a bag of bricks, man, on the head. Next thing you know, I was bedridden. I felt like I was going to die. You, you know what it feels like? I've never had a pain like this. The, the pain for me was the body ache where it felt like I threw out my back. I woke up. My entire body is in pain. I can't even like bend over and wipe my butt. That's how painful my back was. Every part of my body was in pain. It's as if you woke up from the... Like you threw out your back. Like imagine you bent over in the weird position and then you just kind of threw out your back. And that's exactly what my body feels like, guys. And so, and then on top of that was the worst, I never get headaches, guys. Hardly ever get headaches. And I got the worst migraines I've ever felt in my life. 24-7, would not go away. It was so debilitating to the point where I, I literally like looked outside the window and I was like, dude, what if I jumped? It was that bad, you know? It, it was so painful. I took, so what kind of medications did I take? Well, I first took a Z-Pack. The Z-Pack is an antibiotics kind of thing. And so I think that's what saved me, guys, in terms of not having lung issues. So Z-Pack, remember that. If you, if you get COVID, <clears throat> go get prescribed a Z-Pack. This is, this is basically going to help you with pneumonia and all that stuff. And I strongly feel this is why my lungs were okay. Because I took that right at the beginning, <clears throat> so it did not get infected. I try to stand up a, a lot as well because I, I read if you lay down on your back, you, you, you may get pneumonia and all that. So it's Z-Pack, guys. <clears throat> I was also very paranoid. I bought a black black market hydrochloroquine, that, that freaking Trump drug, just in case that I was going to die and never know. I might just take it because you know, it's kind of like, you know, the last kind of thing. But thank God I didn't have to take it. I read a lot of research on that. And you know what, man? It's mixed reviews, guys. Do not just blindly take that fucking hydrochloroquine shit. Okay? Some people actually die from it. Some people do not. And, and I'm going to tell you something. There is no research conclusively. It's still 50-50 in the air whether or not that shit works. But it's a very dangerous drug, man. It's not safe. I read a lot of stuff on it. It's not safe. It's, it causes liver issues, headaches. The heart issues, all this stuff, guys. So don't just randomly take shit because some guy on TV tells you to take it. If I had taken hydrocortigone along with the Z-Pack, I would have probably said, oh, shit, that hydro stuff works. Oh, my God, Trump's a genius. No, it didn't work. It was just the Z-Pack that worked. And rest. And so what happened was this, guys. I, I had a bootleg prescription that I bought from... You know, for like 300 bucks, right? The hydrochloroquine shit. Because first of all, they, they banned it from California. No one can prescribe it because, dude, it's not FDA legal to be prescribing this for COVID cure. People just took it because of the shit they read on online. But you know what, man? In my opinion, guys, don't fucking take shit because you fucking hear it. Okay? Go to a real reputable doctor. Not one of you fucking cracky ass doctors and shit. Okay? The problem is... You don't really know what fucking cures. It's like the flu, dude. dude it's a virus. It's, it's, you you got to let it... Your body has to to fight it itself. And so when you take all this shit, you, you just basically, you know, think that it cures it, but it's not. In my opinion, the Z-Pack was what fucking helped me. Okay? I took Z-Pack, I took NyQuil, and I took Tylenol. All those are just pain reliever um, to help my fever. My fever got up to like a hundred and something, but it was never that bad because I I was well prepared, guys. I was well prepared because I had all my medicine prior to, like when Alex got sick, I, I, I stocked up on all this stuff. So so I started taking stuff early. So I was, you know, the, the main problem for me was the headache would not go away for weeks. I couldn't do it. It was pretty much debilitating. And then I started to not breathe well. Like now, <clears throat> my lung capacity is not all there. <clears throat> Before I couldn't take a deep breath without coughing. So it seems like my lung capacity is maybe 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 
So, I mean, for me, this is, you know, being cured. But, fuck, dude, the long-term effects, it may take another couple months for, for my lungs to get back. So, these people that are saying 99% success rate in, in survival, no shit. You go get your dick cut off by a fucking alligator, you will live too. You would just live in misery. You would hate your fucking life living without a penis. So all these dumb fucks that are talking about 99 per- who I hope you all get it, motherfucker. And then I'll tell you, you're 99%. I hope your fucking dick falls off. And then someone tells you, oh, you have a 99 cents success, success rate, motherfucker. Or someone goes blind, you know, because they jerk off too much. <laughs> Fuck you. You have a 99% success rate. You know what? Those people, insensitive motherfuckers. You know, keep that shit to yourself, bastards. I don't give a fuck if it's a 100% success rate. You still get sick. It still fucking sucks. You may still fucking die. I almost end up... I thought I was going to go to the hospital at, at some point because I couldn't breathe at night. I, I really thought I had an oximeter, had all this stuff on, and my oxygen level... Look at me now. I'm still like, you know, trying to... So, you, so these motherfuckers are telling me about these success rate survival. Fuck you, dumb fuck. You know, just you still you still sick doesn't mean shit. Does it fucking help you that you know you're fucking gonna survive? And you know what if you're the three percent? It's a three percent death rate actually. What if you're the three percent that that don't make it? Oh fuck, dude. See, you dumb fuck. Sorry, man. I I just, I just these fucker guys that that know it all never had it. And when they have it, <laughs> they watch them die, cry like a motherfucker. Watch them take all these fucking drugs that are not meant for COVID and then fucking their liver explodes. But anyways, the key to me was lots of rest, lots of fluids. I'll tell you, I took this liquid IV, which is basically a electrolyte, guys. I posted that already. So basically, the, the, the hardest part is keeping yourself hydrated. Because I was never thirsty. I couldn't even move. My body was just all fucking fucked up. Laying there, headaches. It's just really difficult to drink because I have such a bad headache. I, I couldn't want to drink anything. But this liquid IV thing is supposed to be equivalent to three bottles. Like you, you pour into one bottle of water. And it's supposed to be three bottles of water, instantaneous, and electrolytes and stuff like that. So anyways, it's like a Gatorade but on steroids, guys. But anyways, so that's the key, man. Don't You can't really cure COVID. It's like having the fucking flu. You just, you just have to fight it. You know, if someone has the flu, you, you know, if, if your fucking child has the flu or whoever has the flu and you walk up to them and go, oh, don't worry, you got a 99% success rate of surviving. Fuck you, bitch. I would spit that flu into their fucking face so that they get it, you know? So be, be fucking sensitive to the people that have it. You know, motherfucker, that's it. You know, good for you, you don't have it. But that's what it is, guys. Just the only thing you can do is take your... Your Z pack and your your liquids, and then get plenty of rest. And then after it got better after a week, but the migraines were still there for two weeks. So I had ten full blown days of migraines. It's really bad, man. It's like the headaches were so brutal. Where it, it, I'm looking at myself now, I'm like, I can't believe that I went through that. It, it, after a while, I guess you got used to it. Where is a part of day management? Thank God that it went away. Some people never go away for months. Some people end up in the hospital. I couldn't fucking like even right now. I, I feel like so so during the beginning of the COVID guys, I it felt like I, something was like like a fifty pound weight was on my chest. You know, so people were saying, "Oh, you live, you live." No shit, I'll fucking live. Doesn't mean I'm fucking not have some fucked up lungs. You know, <clears throat> and then trying to fucking beat it. So. So let me take questions, guys, because I, I know a lot of you guys, you know, if you guys have any questions on COVID, let me know. I can bring you on. I can answer questions. So wh- whoever has some very constructive want to talk about COVID stuff um, and then we'll or, or stocks, too. So before we, 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 we do the q and A, I I want to talk about one thing for stocks, guys. This is this is this is something that I've never talked about. And I think this is very important for the markets that we're in. Risk management, guys. Risk management. Okay. The only thing that's the the if you take a look at all the successful traders, what do they have in common? 
It's their risk management. They are not out there revenge trading, blowing up accounts, swinging up and down crazy amounts of money. Okay, they, they put their hard stops in, they have their risk management, all that. Okay, so but we, we talk about this all the time. Okay, we talk about risk management all the time. Here's something that people do not talk about that we talk about at MIC, which is regularly resetting your trading account. I'll tell you why, okay? So this is the important thing that you guys should listen right here. No one ever gonna tell you this. The reason, okay, there's only a certain amount of money you need to trade, guys, because with the margins and all that, sure, you can, you can slowly move up. I'm not taking, telling you to take all your money out. I'm talking about resetting your account. Ever, I'll just make it up. Like, let's say your account is $40,000. Every time you hit $50,000, take out 10,000 bucks. You know, unless you really need it to swing trade or anything, you know, taking that money out does a couple of things, guys. First of all, you pay yourself. You get used to paying yourself. It feels fucking good to take money out of the markets. You beat the market. Take the fucking money out. Okay? So it creates a an incentive for you to work. Because when you take out 10000 bucks and it hits your bank account, and then you start going to the mall, you're going to realize how much $10,000 is, guys. $10,000 is a shitload of money. Most people can't even save that much money in a year. Okay? But when sitting in your fucking account, or when it's... At the casino and chips it doesn't seem that much. Oh, I was, it was a small rounding error. I only lost two thousand dollars. Oh, I, I got a bad beat at blackjack. I lost two thousand bucks. But that's a lot of money. Okay, that's a lot of money. How many t-shirts can you buy? All that. And so by taking out that ten thousand dollars, it shows you how important, how far one dollar goes along the way. Okay, it could be about any money you want. Five thousand if you want. Think about it, man. I, th I just made up 10000 but realistically, $5,000 is a shitload of money. $5,000 a month is 60000 a year. Okay? I mean, that's, that's life-changing supplemental income. Okay? First of all, $5,000 is what people make an entire year. So if you can do that consistently, trading, take it out. Take it out. Okay? So that's the first reason. The first reason is it shows you how much a dollar goes... You know how far a dollar is, okay? Because numbers on the screen doesn't mean shit. That's how people blow up. People go, oh, it's only a few thousand bucks, and then it adds up over time. And number two is it's psychological, guys. If you are, let's say you start with 40,000 bucks. Now you have 50,000 in your account. So you have $10,000 you made. In your head, you're thinking, that's house money. So what happens when you start thinking it's house money? You start to gamble. You become loosey-goosey. You become, you know, you would enter shit that you normally do not get because you have a cushion, okay? So you're playing with house money. I hate that word, guys, because when, when you start thinking house money, you start to do stupid shit. If, when it's not house money, you play very tight. You, pl you are disciplined. You are following the process. You are doing things right because this is your money. You're protecting your money. But when you're house money, you're like, oh, I don't care. Oh, I just lost money. It's, it's house money. And so that's why I like to take money out, guys. Because you have to reset your account to the point where you realize that, hey, this is my fucking money. It's not house money. You making money. That's your money now. There's no house money anymore. You fucking beat the system. You won the stock. It's your money. Ain't no fucking house money. You, that's your money, motherfucker. And so, you know, a lot of people keep thinking house money. That's why they keep losing it back. They let it ride. You know, it's just the, it's the gambling aspect. So by resetting your account, you play games with your own mental, right? You're like, this is not house money anymore, guys. This is my money. I took my mouth money. I already blew it on some stupid pairs of jeans and and shoes, what the hell you want to spend it on, right? Trust me, man, $5,000, if you if you just spend it like a regular person, it's a lot of money, okay? But in trading, it seems like, oh, it's tiny. Everyone's trying to make a million dollars. But to be realistically, $5,000 <clears> a month, so mental income is huge. Take that money out. So when you take that money out, you not no longer have cushion. So you get back to the to the rigors of being disciplined to trade. And so that's why I tell people to regularly reset your account. 
Because you know what, man? It may come a day where it blows you up. One stupid account, one stupid stock blows you up. But then, but then you took the money out so you can reload your account. But, but mentally, this works for me. The only thing I can tell you for you is, you know what, man? When, when I'm playing with my own money, it's quite different than playing with the house money, right, guys? And so that's why I think you should regularly take out your money. All right, any questions, guys? I want to bring someone on. Anybody want to raise your hand and come on? We'll talk about stocks, COVID, whatever you guys want. I want to keep this short and sweet. I just want to bring one person on and you can debate me. You can talk about risk management. You can talk about anything you want to hear. But, um, but I'll do that to you guys, okay? Text Tosh and we'll show you where the watch list is. And if you do not... In our watch list, if you, if you track the watch list, if our watch list does not pay you back, you know, just, you have... But the thing is, like, you can't just fucking watch the watch list and not trade it, right? But... We'll go through the watch list. We'll show you how you can use the watch list to pay for your own membership, guys. That's how awesome this, guys. <clears throat> All right, nobody wants to come on. I'll keep it short and sweet, guys. A couple minutes and then uh, I'll log off. Just want to tell you guys I'm back. I'm not 100%, but how you cure the COVID. Don't, don't listen to these doctors on quacky doctors. You know, it's like the flu, man. It's very hard to treat. The only thing you can treat are the symptoms that come out of it, such as the lung issue, getting. So that's that's what it is, man. The Z pack, Z pack was I attributed, in my opinion, a recovery on the Z pack. All right, guys. My energy is not all there. I'm trying. I heard it's about probably another month or so, but I feel better, guys. I lost my quarantine weight. So yeah, I gained quarantine and lose it back. I had to get COVID. Cool, guys. I guess I'll leave you guys in. I'll just keep it short and sweet, guys. I'll see you guys uh, later on online. Bye, guys.